We all know the iPhone camera is just incredible, but how good can it get? The iPhone has incredible cameras like the wide 0.5 lens, the two times telephoto, and the main 24 millimeter lens. But what if the cameras could go microscopic? I'm not just talking about macro capabilities, but up to 40 times magnification to see never before details captured on iPhone. A microscope lens is the only lens that Apple does not have already in their iPhones. And with this Sandmark microscope lens for your iPhone will eliminate that problem. If you're not familiar with Sandmark, they design premium products for Apple, GoPro, and other cameras and have been in the game for over 10 years now. Now this lens is really small and lightweight, allowing you to take it anywhere with ease. It all was built with a multi-element glass for the best image quality and it does not disappoint. One problem with microscope lens in general is that they need a lot of light to be used. Well, Sandmark already thought of this and added a light to the lens with USB-C charging for ease of use. Now, you may be wondering, how do you mount this lens to your iPhone? Well, there are two ways. First is with the provided clip-on mount that comes with the lens. This allows you to use the lens with any iPhone case, but it does require some lining up and it can be bumped off. But what I would recommend doing is using the iPhone case that comes with this lens. This is a durable leather case that has threading on the cameras so you can easily thread this lens onto your camera. Now here's a couple of tips on how to use this lens to get the best possible shots with it. Now of course this lens is a microscope lens so it has a zero millimeter focusing distance meaning you need to be right up on your subject for the lens to focus. Which comes to my first tip, which is to create some depth in the shot. This means instead of shooting a top-down shot where the background is also in focus, try bringing the camera at an angle or where there is space between the subject and the background. I know this isn't always possible with the size of the iPhone, but when you can, make sure to create some depth. Then second is to use additional lights. Sometimes with the ring light provided on the lens, you can get some vignetting around the image like seen here. You can prevent this by turning off the light on the lens and either using sunlight or another portable light to light the edges of the subject. This just introduces shadows into your shot, creating a more interesting microscope shot. Now, of course, if you would like to pick up this lens for yourself, you can check the first link down in the description below. And a huge thanks to Sandmark for sending this lens to me for testing out. If you have any further questions, let me know it down in the comments below and consider subscribing to never miss another video just like this one.